Hello, my name is Samuel and welcome to a music classroom tour of the International School of The Hague. I'm just going to take you around. Uh, we try to make the best use of the space that we've got. So this is one of our classrooms where we have everything from uh, you know, students sitting with their work, the board, um, ear training, offshore work. But at the same time, we have storage issues. So what we did is we created seats where we can also store everything from power cables, leads for productions. And when the rock band comes in here, this is where all of our guitar leads sit. So we also have prize seating for students during the lesson. And then the other part of the, the room is used for rock bands, jazz band, performances. Um, when we do all the dumbbells, we have them stored there. So it's a multi-purpose space and everything can be moved to the sides for singing, dancing, band practice. But this was one of the best parts because this was a, just a storage room, you know, dark, horrible. You put all the cases and just throw stuff in there. And we emptied the whole thing and turned it into a studio. So if you come in. So this was just your standard um, storage room. And thanks to one of our concierge, his name's Eddie. We've called this Eddie Road. He put in the, the window, he's got the soundproofing all on the walls, we've got the guitars hanging, and then we've got all our audio interfaces, um, preamps, synthesizers, Ableton, all ready to go in here. And students can come in here, work on their classroom work, work on their DP uh, diploma assignments, while classes are happening next door, and it's fantastic. particularly with the very weird echo we had to keep the volume down in the classroom and this has worked perfectly mm. we can plug it into the mixer we can plug it into the iMac um, we can do a whole lot of stuff live that if it was a real kit we couldn't yeah. So this will be a MIDI controller for Logic, but with this one we can directly record the audio into Logic. So this will be the sequencer, this will be the audio device, and this can program drums, and this is a, a tube preamp for vocals or instruments. This setup teaches signal processing, from mm. MIDI to audio to beat mapping to tube compression, things like that. So we have our MIDI programming, but with these selected keys here, I can control Logic, or I can control the software from Arturia. And if I choose controlling Logic, each of the tracks, <laughs> I can actually map parameters to the slides. Mm. So the students can work on performing with the tech as well as just writing with it. Yes, we bought these. Uh, they were made available to us from a second-hand uh, reseller here in The Hague. Amazing. And just a simple um, mini mixer right at the front so that we can control the piano, the board, um, USB-C to HDMI for iPads, that type of thing, mm. and we're set to go. Um, this was a corridor almost like the locker bays that you see here, and we asked to have it transformed into a studio space. Mm. 
but due to ventilation and things like that, we couldn't. So it became a very cool storage area. Oh, this is like this is like a Narnia in the Narnia. Yeah. This is this is enough. <laughs> So this became for us, so for orchestra, bands, rock bands, we've got pedals, kids put their instruments in here. It fits everything from our timpani to those annoying guitar cases, yeah. the gongs, everything. We use the guitars, but we don't want the cases just no. lying around. We've got our samba kit. Um, yeah, everything from uh, spare clarinets and saxophones and percussion. Need to get this sorted at the moment. So we had some students come in as part of their service action and their job was to actually measure and work out where all the instruments were. And that's why some of the writing you can see it says clarinets or tenor sax or trumpets. The kids worked out where things should go. We have a minimal workspace through here. But when it comes to orchestra on a Monday, the whole place gets emptied out onto the, the plaza out here and then wheeled back in. Um, if we want mic stands or uh, equipment stands, guitar pedals, so we have in here. Uh, is this pedal case number one? So what we did is everything has a case. So we actually take everything we need find a case that will fit it yeah. and we put it in here. And so way, good, because otherwise you just don't have, yeah, cables, pedals yeah. everywhere. It's all preset. So this is our MDA, our auditorium. Um, got the grand piano in the corner. Uh, once again, our friend Eddie has built a floating platform for our drum kit so we can move that around. It's just a platform with cast wheels that have a locking mechanism underneath. Mm. Um, it works quite well for small performances, things for choir, rock band, stuff like that. Uh, but for choir and large ensembles, we have to pull up this huge garage door. So we're, we make other arrangements and we look around the school where we can perform, like on the plaza or in the, we call it the glass house in the area. Mm. So with all the lighting and, yeah.